Hubert Bob, the greatest detective of all time, can now tell you who stole the Klopman diamond thanks to my superior intellect. Yeah, yeah, we know you're smart. Just cut to the chase, Herb. Who done it? Only one <laughs> person had access to the safe's combination. Therefore, the culprit is... Oh, oh no, stop! Yeah. Ah. No! Who stole the Klopman diamond? I have to know. So I told the guy. Uh, oh no! The TV has broken alarm! Gotta go! <laughs> no! <laughs> How could you leave me like this? After all, we've meant to each other. Huh. I'll call the repairman. And I never did find out who stole the Klopman diamond. I'll have it back to you in a few days. Good as new. <laughs> a few days without TV? What am I gonna do? I can't just eat and sleep. I need activity. I know how much you'll miss the TV, Garfield. Ah! About as much as I'd miss breathing or cannelloni. I have an idea what we can do. Anything, I'm desperate. Ha! Ah, found it! This was my grandmother's TV. Maybe it still works. She does. Why shouldn't her TV? I used to watch the set when I was a kid, and I always had the silly idea that the folks on the screen could actually see me. Folks on the screen seeing you watching? That's the silliest thing I ever heard of. Hey, you at home, stop doing that. And I especially remember this guy, Dr. Goody Good. He hosted my favorite show, Have You Been Good Today? <laughs> I loved him. <laughs> <laughs> you changed the channel by turning this knob. These old TVs didn't have remote controls. <gasps> What? You mean you actually get up and go over to the TV in order to change channels? Isn't the whole principle behind television not to have to get out of your chair and do things? You'll have to find a station on your own. I'm late for a lunch with Liz. Be back in a while. <sighs> <sighs> well, I guess I have to do this the medieval way. Buddy, come on, huh? And now, live from our studio, please welcome your favorite host, Dr. Goody Good. Oh, Dr. Goody Good? Hey, that's the show John used to watch as a kid. He's still on? Hello, children. Hey, have you all been good little boys and girls today? Yes, Dr. Goody Good. Hey, where's the color? Where's the picture in black and white? I'll try another channel. <laughs> This guy's on every channel. As we all know, the most important thing in the world is to be a good person and think good thoughts. Hi, Garfield! How is anyone supposed to think good thoughts with him around? I'm directing a movie about myself, and you're gonna film it. I'm gonna call it 24 Hours in the Life of the Cutest Cat on Earth. All you have to do is follow me around all day and film me with this camcorder. Great, Nermal. But you know it's important to start any movie with a great action sequence. Ooh, true. What kind of great action sequence do you have in mind? <laughs> Bravo! Great action sequence. Arthur, Arthur! <laughs> Now back to the new old TV. Maybe Dr. Goodygood knows who stole the Klopman diamond. You should be ashamed of yourself. That's no way to treat a friend. Who, me? Yes, you, Garfield. Right, kids? Whoa, that cat, that cat. What's going on here? Is he talking about me? Yes, I'm talking about you. What you just did to that nice little fellow was very, very naughty. What nice little fellow? You mean Nermal? He's the most obnoxious... Whoa. Why am I talking to someone on TV? 
It's not as if he can hear me or see me. Where is it? I can see you. I can hear you. And I can do this to you. What was that? What did you do? Why am I all gray? <laughs> I took your color away, Garfield. You see, <clears throat> I look at the world in black and white. One is either good or bad. And what you just did to your friend was bad. But you've got it all wrong. I'm actually a very likable guy. Yes, then prove it. Go out and do some good deeds, and then maybe, just maybe, you'll get your colors back. Right, kids? Yeah! <laughs> good deeds. I don't do good deeds. I don't do deeds of any kind. I just eat and sleep. <laughs> Helping an old lady across the street, that would be a good deed. <laughs> What are you doing? Yeah. I'll have you across the street in no time, lady. <laughs> okay, I got a little orange back. More good deeds to do. That piano is about to fall on that man eating ice cream. Saving a guy eating ice cream from having a piano fall on him? That would qualify it as a good deed. Hey kids, don't try this at home or anywhere else. Hey, I passed the second test with flying colors. Looks like I've got about one good deed left. Boy, good deeds to do are getting hard to find in this town. Sounds like someone is in trouble. Don't harm me. I'm too adorable. <laughs> Sounds like Narmal's in trouble. <laughs> no, a good deed is a good deed, even if it is Narmal. <gasps> Go away! Leave me alone! <laughs> How could you possibly hurt someone this cute? <laughs> no. Let's call my agent. We could work something out, like maybe a dog food commercial. Huh? Yeah, what do you say? <laughs> hey, you stupid pea brain mutts. Why don't you pick on somebody your own size? Yeah, like him. <laughs> no, don't chop me. Stop. Help. Help. Somebody do a good deed for me. Help. Dumb thing to do, Garfield. You should get your head examined. By the way, you're starting to turn gray. <laughs> Why, the ungrateful. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I'm back in full color. <laughs> Wait till I tell Dr. Goody Good I proved I'm a good cat. <laughs> Dr. Goody Good, Dr. Goody Good, I have all my colors again. Oh. Dr. Goody Good? <laughs> the repairman just brought our set back, and now it works fine. Oh. Dr. Goody Good? <gasps> Dr. Goody Good! Dr. Goody Good! Dr. Goody Good? If you're wondering about that old black and white TV, I had him take it away. 
<laughs> Wait! Wait! Dr. Goody Good! Wait! Goodbye, Dr. Goody Good. Garfield! <laughs> Remember Dr. Goody Good? Yeah, how could I ever forget him? He's that old TV show host I told you about this morning. Well, I got to wondering whatever happened to him. I looked him up on the internet. As we all know, nothing you read on the internet is ever wrong. Except, of course, for a lot of stuff. It says here he retired 27 years ago, and nobody has heard from him since. Hi, Doc. Hope you're fine. Come on, Garfield. Let's go have ourselves a midnight snack. Good. Then I'll be fine. Take care, Doc, wherever you are. You take care too, Garfield. <laughs> you did good today. surprised to see Dr. Whipple has a new TV show. Didn't we get rid of this guy last season? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I use the latest techniques of psychology to aid people with their problems. That means he charges people a lot of money to tell them that they're confused. Today, I am pleased to introduce you to my latest <laughs> patient. <laughs> An elephant? Either that or a mouse with a severe eating disorder. Oh, this is Shrimpy the Elephant. Shrimpy, show the people what I've taught you. Hey. <laughs> Isn't this great? You dragged me here to see a man tell an animal what to do? I'm gonna go find something to eat. As you can see, Shrimpy here has been trained with love and affection. Smile. Or I won't feed you again till August. Hmm, <laughs> nice spread they put out for the crew. <gasps> You missed three steps and forgot to do the Elvis impression. Just for that, no lunch. Hey, not that it's a lot of my business, but uh, why do you put up with this? If I don't, he doesn't feed me. Looks like he's not feeding you now. Here, have half of mine. Oh, thanks. You know, Shrimpy, I have a guy who feeds me, and I don't have to do handstands or live in a cage. On the other hand, Shrimpy doesn't have to put up with Nermal, or those twins, and Aunt Ivy, and Doggy Tongue. He's right. That cat is right. Wasn't that elephant act great? No. <laughs> How can 
let an elephant get past you. Sorry, Doc. I was on my break. And call the police. Call everyone. <laughs> All units, be on the lookout for one elephant. Description, gray. Approximate weight, 7,000 pounds. What do you think all this police activity is about? Maybe they're gonna arrest Dr. Whipple for impersonating a human being. I'm going to go visit Liz. I'll see you back at the house. Bring pizza. People who treat animals like that should be treated, well, the way they treat animals. What is it with all these policemen? Hey! Huh? Huh? Who hit me? You made a break for it? I couldn't take any more of it. But it's no use. They'll find me and they'll take me back there. And he'll, he'll be even madder at me. <laughs> hide me. <laughs> you gotta hide me. Hide you? <laughs> You're a little large, don't you think? Couldn't I go on a crash diet? Hmm, there must be a way. <gasps> here's an old flat volleyball, and here's some black paint. Maybe... Huh? Come on, just a little more. Tuck it in. <sighs> You're supposed to be a dog, remember? Bark, do dog stuff. Come on, Spot. What kind of dog do you think that was, Henry? It looked to me like part Cocker Spaniel, part uh, Pachyderm. I don't care what it is. I'm just glad I don't have to clean up after it. Al, how many dogs have you caught this month? Well, let's see. Uh, there was that Lhasa Apso. Oh, no, she got away. Try none. Al, you haven't caught so much as a chihuahua in months. I'm going to assign you to something a little bigger and easier to find. Do you think maybe you could find a elephant? Yeah. And I know exactly how to do it. <laughs> I'll sneak you in the back way. No, I don't think this will work. Huh? I'll take you in the front way. <laughs> 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 Oh, sure, like you don't have a couple of fat relatives you have to do this with. I... Where you live? Shh. Huh? I'll try to find you something to eat. Huh? Around here, it's mostly lasagna or dog food. Huh? <laughs> Cody, I didn't mean dog food like that. Spit my friend Odie out right now. Sorry. Garfield, if you think I'm going to feed your elephant friends, you're sadly mistaken. Three, two, one. Mm. Elephant! It is an elephant! It's Dr. Whipple's elephant! Garfield, he shouldn't be here. I'm going to call Dr. Whipple. <sighs> Don't worry, Shrimpy. We'll find a way. No, I'm going back, I know. There aren't a lot of places for an elephant in this world, except on a stage. 
Hello? May I speak with Dr. Whipple? They're putting me through to his cell phone. Don't worry, Elephant. We'll have you home in no time. You... you don't want to go home, do you? He doesn't treat you very well, does he? Uh, this is Dr. Whipple. Who is this? Uh... Sorry, wrong number. Uh, well, we can't keep him here. I already have one pet who eats like an elephant. <laughs> the cat, as usual, has an idea. This is an article about a program that sends animals back to their native habitats. Oh, you think we should give Shrimpy here to the zoo? Well, he'd be happy there, but unfortunately, he does belong to Dr. <laughs> Whipple. I did it! I caught the elephant! I caught the elephant! Attention, everyone! I caught the elephant! I may be a lousy dog catcher, but I'm a great elephant catcher! <laughs> Sorry, Garfield. Looks like your friend is going back. There you are! You are in such trouble now, elephant! Don't treat him bad, Doc. Mind your own business. He needs to be punished severely. Bad elephant. Bad elephant. If you think I disciplined you before, Shrimpy, wait until you see what happens now. Elephants are supposed to have great memories. You won't remember the last time I fed you, and you're going to work three times harder. No, he isn't. What do you mean? He's my elephant, and he's going to do what I say. There are laws against mistreating animals. I think we better take you down to jail and teach them to you. What? No! You can't do this to me! You can't lock me up like some... some dumb animal! I'm sorry for what I did, but I think it'll be all right now. What do you think will happen to him? Oh, he'll probably agree to turn Shrimpy here over to the zoo in exchange for a light sentence. Hey, this might all work out. <laughs> and look, Shrimpy, Odie got you a peanut. One without a dog catcher inside. Why, thank you, Odie. Ha <laughs> figures. I always thought Odie was kind of a nut. Since half past the beginning of time, men have had wishes. Dreams of wealth, power, love, and all that can be desired. Tales are told of magic forces that turn wishes into reality. One such tale involves a bejeweled bottle, a magic genie, and three wishes. It is a tale told time and again, and told this day about a man named John Arbuckle. <laughs> Odie seems to be having a good time. Don't go too far, Odie! How are you enjoying the beach, Garfield? Oh, it's not so bad. Especially when you bring everything you need from home. You can do this if you have a truck and a 10-mile extension cord. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Down the beach, the puppy dog was there when a glistening huh? bottle washed up on the shore. <laughs> huh? Ooh. It was so attractive, so magical, that he had to take it back to his master. Sorry I have to get back to the clinic. Bye, Liz. <laughs> what did you find, boy? Huh? Hmm. I can't make out most of the writing, but there's something on here about unleash the genie, three wishes. <laughs> you find silly stuff on the beach. Sure do. I got it. Garfield, do you think it's possible? Three wishes. I know just what I'd wish for. So do I. Riches beyond compare. <laughs> Fame all around the world. <laughs> and success in everything I do. Lasagna. More lasagna. And even more lasagna. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? No, no, not here. Let's take it home and open it there. Oh, wait. What about the... Nah, never mind. We can just wish for new ones. John Arbuckle hurried home. And there, he decided to do a bit of research before uncorking the bejeweled bottle. So with my first wish, I'll wish for a million more wishes. And just before I use all of them up, I'll wish for another million. And another, and another. It says here that the legend of the genie in the bottle goes back thousands of years. Some genies are good and some are bad. Oh. To get rid of a bad genie, you hey, must... never mind that. I have my first 193 wishes all set to go. All right. Here goes. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right, pup. I haven't been so disappointed since John made eggplant parmesan. Well, it was kind of a silly dream. Imagine, a magic genie in a bottle. Come on. I'll go make us some eggplant parmesan. Who released me from the prison of the bejeweled bottle? Oh, I did, I did. My name is John Arbuckle. And for my first wish, I would like... Silence! I am Omar! Omar? What kind of name is that for a genie? Thank you for releasing me, John Arbuckle. And now you shall grant me three wishes. Me? No, you've got it backwards. You're supposed to grant me three wishes. Are you going to grant me three wishes, or do I have to turn you into a frog? What's your first wish? I want, I want lasagna! Hey, he took my wish. Lasagna? I have been locked in that bottle for hundreds of years. I'm hungry. Get me lasagna, 50 pounds of it. Lasagna? Well, at least I know how to get that. Hey, tall, dark, and smoky. You have all these magic powers. How come John has to get you what you want? I like being waited on. Okay, that I understand. Vito, John Arbuckle, I need 50 pounds of lasagna. That's right, half my usual order. In no time at all, Omar's first wish was granted. <laughs> Are you gonna eat that? Yes. Yes, your geniness, sir? No. Oh. For my second wish, I want dancing girls. Dancing girls? 
I can't find dancing girls. You want to be a frog? I can find dancing girls. Dancing girls, dancing girls. Where am I gonna get dancing girls? Hello? Hi, Liz, it's me. Liz, would you like to do me a big favor? Soon, Omar's second wish was granted. Sort of. <laughs> Very good. Very good, I vote yes! John, remind me again why I'm doing this. So your boyfriend doesn't get turned into a frog. Oh, I knew there had to be a good reason. Uh, Omar, uh, sir, uh, could we get your third wish over with now? Certainly. For my third wish, I would like <laughs> a million more wishes. <laughs> he keeps stealing my wishes. Huh? Yeah, I want more food, more dancing girls, and buy me video games, and cluck like a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> What am I gonna do? Probably live on a lily pad and eat flies. Uh -uh. Genie or no genie, I've got to stand up to him. Omar, whatever it is, the answer is no. I'm not granting you any more wishes. <laughs> You're right, Odie. I have to do something. The clever cat thought and thought, trying to conceive a plan that would... Hey, lady! I'm trying to think here. Sorry. Odie, John found something on the internet earlier about how to get rid of a genie. Uh -huh. Come on! It took him but moments to find it. Let's see here. To get rid of a bad genie, you must get him to say his name backwards. He will disappear, and you'll be granted one wish as your reward. Whoa! I even get a wish? But how do I get him to say his name backwards? I want more food! More food! That was when the clever feline got his idea. I got an idea. We're going down to Vito's to get more food. <laughs> The cat and dog hurried to the place known as Vito's Pizzeria. There, they convinced the one named Vito to print up a special menu just for them. Then, they hurried home. Omar wants food! If I don't get my food wish soon, I'm going to turn someone into an art park! Bet you can't spell it. Here, Omar, a menu from Vito's. Just pick out whatever you want. I want everything! I want the spaghetti, I want the ravioli, I want the pizza, I want the ramo! What's ramo? Ramo is Omar backwards. Oh. <laughs> you tricked me! You tricked me into saying my name backwards! You'll be sorry, you'll be sorry! I'll turn you into a slug! Put a cork in it, fella. <laughs> He's gone, Odie. We'll take the bottle back and throw it in the ocean. And remember, Garfield, you have a wish. Thank you, narrator lady. Right, Odie. I have a wish. I can wish for anything. I can wish for money. I can wish for lasagna. I can wish for money and lasagna. I can wish for power and fame and more lasagna and success and... Garfield. <sighs> but I guess I have to wish to get John back to the way he was. I wish. I wish everything was the way it was this morning. Odie seems to be having a good time. Don't go too far, Odie! How are you enjoying the beach, Garfield? And so there is this lesson. Be careful what you wish for. You just may get it. Again, and again, and again. Ah! <laughs>